What are we doing, Bill? We're gonna go do some scouting. We don't have the microphones on. Some real scouting this time. With both of us. Get back at you soon. How you doing, everybody? Me and Bill are out here today. Finally got together after about a month. We've uh, been a little busy. Bill just got back from Florida. Of course, he didn't bring me no pig or gator meat back, but whatever. So, uh, we're gonna go in here and try and find some sign. Maybe a couple of trails that they're using here in the early season. We'll find some trees, get a setup. Maybe do a couple of a couple of brown brown blind sets, and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know my fungus. That's pretty neat. Some bear will come and have a good old night after eating that. This is just an access trail that we're on right now that probably everybody uses pretty heavily. Most people, uh, they only come down to the creek here or stay just before it and they'll, uh, they'll walk back and forth in the creek. There's only a handful of us that know easy access across this creek. And a lot of times, as soon as you cross over, the action starts like that. Oh, I see him now, now I see him, now I see him. <laughs> Up over the little hill. Yeah, I just, I just caught him. I didn't know where to look. You gotta tell me. I didn't even see a turkey down here on the last archery. Not one. I don't know how convincing that is, but... Look at that. And acorns everywhere. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like August 12th, and... I mean, those are some nice acorns already just for early season. One near a spot where we saw a couple of bucks last year that we were actually after. So we're going to follow the creek line down towards where we know they were bedding last year. And we're going to do some scouting around that area. See if we can pick up some good spots and some good sun. Yeah, both those guys got to jump on us on the same day. We were just coming in with our tree stands. And that was uh, that, what is that, unicorn sort of buck that you were looking at, that with that five or seven or whatever it was. And then that big old, I don't even know what he was, 10, 12 coming. Oh yeah, it was that five pointer, three on one side, and it had the spiral horn on the other side. Yeah, that big guy just chasing him in, laid down for two seconds, got right up, man, he ran him right off. I didn't I have time to grab the release. Crazy. It's a shame it's too public here, but man, I'll tell you what, that'd be a good tree to sit in right there. Thank you. Let's see what else we got. All right, let's get in it. There's something scratching up here, maybe them turkeys. Like we walked five feet and I saw this tree and I thought, hey, it might be a good place to cross later on in the season. We can get across this creek. And as we're observing it, up oh, like 30 seconds, a buck just jumps up and blows bedded over here at me. It's, I don't have my phone out. It's like maybe one o'clock in the afternoon. He was just laying there bedding. The acorns are only five yards that we were just talking about. And I don't know what he said, 100 yards. He was probably bedding there. And he had us picked off just sitting there at the log looking. We're obviously in the right spot. Good start. Yeah, he didn't wind us. He saw us. Yeah, he saw us. I was I was focused more on looking across in this log. Let's go this direction. I knew we were getting closer to bed, and I know they're laying in here. That's a good sign there, buddy. And the wind's coming right at us. 
So we're walking into the wind. So he, yeah, he definitely didn't wind us. He just, he picked me out. Man, he was, oh, I see why. It's just a slight little knuckle right there. He was, He's running right here. And he was right in there. Yeah, that's a good heavy crossing. He doesn't have a lot. Yeah, it hasn't been reached. The size of that. Mm -hmm. Now, we just had some rain, so a lot of that's washed, but you can see here. You can see that noise where he slid down in there. He, they've been using this. And we just pumped him right over there, so. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Look at the size of that truck. We might have to check this out. Because that's a good little set in there, man. We could get right in here real quick. We could come across down through there. Put a set up right here on this trail, right there inside them pines outside of this opening. Ouch. Shh, 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 bell, bell. He's coming, he's circling around just like we thought. And he's blowing. That is definitely a dominant buck. Here he comes to the right. He, he's up, I can hear him up in the pines. He's definitely circling around us. Now he's upwind. So he definitely can't smell us at this point. guess about 150 yards from here he's grunting at us like it's darn rut season like he's throwing tendon grunts out there i never heard a deer grunt like that it's not that's crazy yeah i think we really ticked him off That's a, that's a, yeah, that's just a territorial little, that, that's kind of fresh, so I think last year's. I lots of sign in here. There's a gun. Good sign. Here we go. That looks kind of bucky. Yeah, right there. There we go. Them are some big feet. And that's what we're looking for. Yeah, he's Keep his fingers in there. That might be that big boy from last year, man. I got four fingers in there. Big trap. That's what we're looking for. He's here. We just gotta find a place to get him. See, the nice thing about being in here is we got a bunch of funnels. With these trees laying down, you know, it's a bunch of natural funnels we can hunt through. They, they weave in and out of here. It's not just straight open. There's a rub right there. Yeah, that's a good one from last year, too. That's going down. A big old run. 
Bunch of flat tops walking through there. You need to have it. Everybody's going to come right in from the road. Straight down to these openings. And that's what we're going to see right there. <laughs> so when we get into those pockets on the other side of the creek, these people are going to push them there right to us. Hunting pressure in Pennsylvania. Most other states you'd come in, you'd find your stand with your sign, you'd make a set, you're good. Pennsylvania, there's, and I'm not even joking, there's times you can have 20 guys in a matter of eyesight. And the reality is I actually got a dough out of that last year, a situation like that, arrival season, not archery. When it comes to archery, Bill and I would like to be secluded, reclused. I mean, there's heavy signs. I don't know if you can get it on film, but turn around, you can see that heavy run. That's been years worth of run coming down through there. <coughs> and that's probably why he's got his camera there. Because we're right in the edge of the chalfins coming through a wash. Bill and I use this for an access. Yes, we see a lot of animals through here, bear, <laughs> deer, but... I've hunted all these spots right by the road for a long time. Uh, yeah, uh, you'll see them, but you're not getting them. Yeah, before so, I figured out that. not to do that. We learned a lot of lessons here in PA, same as people do up in Michigan. Yeah, they get that pressure too. Watch this log here. And we're literally what? I can see the guardrails. It's not even, heck, I could probably shoot my bow from that camera to the red. Last year was a hard lesson for us in our first year together. But now this year, if we're going to focus more on making our sets and our hunting spots, Bill was teaching me this area. I, it's all new to me. And uh, in years to come, there's areas I'm going to show him, and he's going to share the same frustration as me, I'm sure. I mean, we share it together most all days. If I'm stressed, I make sure he's stressed. <laughs> It takes a couple years, especially when you have this much public land to hunt. And what did I say it was? 190 square miles? 180, 190, something like that. We'll just round that up to 200, if you will. But, uh, you got, I don't want to give them too much of our area away where we're at, but we'll say we get a lot of city people come up this way because this is the closest spot they can hunt. Not realizing that they have some of the best urban hunting around. And I've seen some smackers. It's not as easy as you think hunting an urban buck. Yeah, you can see them every day, and it's almost like having your own farm. You know, they, they walk the same washes and tree lines. They, they know what's up. They're not stupid. They know every little thing that's out of place. So I got to give it to you urban guys. It's not as easy as everybody thinks. 